What's going on everybody? It's Monkey Farm back here on Hermitcraft. Uh, I've been working on the skull as I mentioned in my last video um, in the third world when I built the uh, what, what do you call those things? Chicken jockeys. Uh, I built a little chicken jockey farm. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys didn't see that for some reason check out that video definitely. Um, it's a lot of fun and uh, of course I have to do some fishing. I need some more name tags. Uh, my chicken jockey died because I tried to pull him through water. What a donkey. Um, anyway, um, so I will be working on that little farm and finishing that up, making it work a little bit better. I've been doing a lot of work here. Um, oh, I didn't even point out. You can see I have a whole new ceiling and it's really, really dark because it's obsidian. But I'm not quite done yet. Um, I want to put lava on top of. Uh, I want to put lava on. Where did all my lava go? Yeah, it's all in here. Grab some of this. Um, that should be enough. Just in case. Oh, I can go up through here. So I want to put lava up on the top of this, so it'll be uh, dripping lava down into uh, into the skull mouth below. I did something very similar to this in my second world um, in the, uh, what do you call that, the portal room. And it turned out really awesome, so uh, I'm going to do that here. That should work fill in all the spots. Uh, one thing I don't want to do is die or get caught on fire or anything. That would be a bummer. So one thing that will be a little bit tricky though is when I build my drop off. Obviously I can't use that anymore so I should probably plug that up so I don't accidentally forget and jump down it straight into the lava. Um, that would be a good trap though, if I wanted to like trap other people. Let's see, I guess I better go grab all that other lava. Um, that should work. Ooh, definitely don't want any mobs dropping in and pushing me into the lava. I had a zombie, uh, when I was when I was pouring all the lava and pouring water on it, I had a zombie creep up on me and almost pushed me into the lava. That was a close call. Okay, good there. Alright, I'm kind of out of lava, but I can go get some more, but we can at least check out how it looks so far. And I may put some kind of lighting in the water down in the ground because this is like, it's so dark. You know, I do actually want a little bit of light because it's kind of like the darkness glitch, you know, like the caves used to look um, really dark where you can't even see light when you should see a little bit. Um, looks okay. Let's see how it looks back here. I don't know. Looks pretty cool. And I think what I might do eventually... Um, a lot of light's coming through that door right there, and a lot of light is coming through here. So if I um, if I covered all this up, let's let's check out what it looks like, you know, pitch dark, uh, except for the elevator, of course, which I did I did break the uh, the torches over there, and some of the lights coming through the pistons, which is fine. Um, it's kind of glowing back there. Um, it's kind of bright in here, isn't it? I wonder if I should eventually uh, make the walls out of uh, wool, black wool, something like that. Well, it looks good in here. It's just way too bright over there, but, you know, we'll deal with that. Where's my door? There it is. Alright. So, I'm going to go grab some more lava. We're going to do a little work up. 
Why do I have all this water? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it's because I actually have no idea. <laughs> oh well. Um, I also put glass over here so that I could take away all the torches and mobs won't spawn here. Uh, they won't spawn in the glass. Uh, they might spawn on the pistons, but there's light coming through from under the pistons, so I don't think... I think it's too bright. Um, they shouldn't spawn here because we have fences here. So I think we're pretty safe. And whoa! Okay, I get a little bit of lag when I'm recording, so sometimes it doesn't work all the way. There we go. Alright, oh man, I forgot about the lava. I've got to cover that up. So, as you can see, I dug out literally the entire mountain all the way down below there. Um, and I built the, the skull wall. Uh, I still have some work to do down at the bottom edge, but all of this. So we are inside the skull. It is like totally complete. Well, not totally, but you get what I'm talking about. Um, it's totally complete over here. I just need to uh, fill in the bottom parts. So what I want to do, I want to have some stairs coming from this top platform down to, you know, I guess this elevator level. Um, also, I think I want to build something on this level so that we can, um, we can like, you know, come over here and look out of the windows, the giant sunglasses. Um, I may fill this in with just regular glass, um, clear white glass, just so, you know, so it's filled in. Or I guess I could just put um, some iron bars or something so that, uh, you know, so I don't fall off the edge. I need to childproof the skull. It's pretty dangerous at the moment. Looks like we still have the uh, sprinting glitch on servers. It kind of gives you that wiggling look. Um, I think we're in, well, I'm in 1.7.4. I, I don't know if the server is actually updated to 1.7.4. It seems to work with multiple uh, snapshots or whatever. You don't have to always have the exact one anymore. So that's kind of good. Um, so I'll do a little work here, hopefully get started on some stairs and things like that. And um, and I'll be back. All right, that's a little better. Got everything filled in now. So a lot more lava drops uh, falling from the ceiling. I think that looks good. Uh, I want to do some other stuff in here, but you know, I'm not sure exactly what. Maybe hang some vines, make it look better. Um, put some different type of uh, blocks on the walls. This uh, stone looks a little bit. Land. Uh, what else? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe stone bricks might look a little bit better than just regular smooth stone. Um, anyway, let's see. What else are we doing? Am I cooking anything in here? Nope. So I have some leftover lava buckets. This will cook up a lot more smooth stone. So just put all that in there, and uh, I get it back over here, and the empty buckets, and easy as that. Um, let's see. Let's uh, let's see. I know I have got a lot of stairs, stone stairs. I've got this stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, maybe I'll grab some wood as well. Grab a stack of that. Uh, get up there and uh, start building, kind of shaping out the, uh, the inside of the skull area. And uh, I still need to cover that up. I know I'm going to fall like right there. That would have been great. You guys would have loved that. Let's see. Okay, um, yeah, I think I want this lower. Just dig this out. I'm just going to do a little bit of work around here. Um, a lot of this, I don't know if I want to leave it. Let's see, Ua. Who's Ua? Um, I don't know 
how I want to do this over here. Because I don't want to dig too much away because I might not keep these sunglasses forever and uh, it might be good to keep the shape of the eyes so that I don't have to rebuild everything. But um, I can't dig that out. I have... Oh, well actually I don't need that black wool, right? Should I build a walkway here? Just walk around? Mm, I don't have my my shears. Need to shape this out a bit. All right, so I'm going to start covering this up, but uh, I blocked off the little walkway here. That way I can still do the drop off from the top to get down way down to the bottom. Let's see. I uh, have to go up the elevator. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely a lot of work traveling back and forth <laughs> up to the top of that skull and back down. So, um, I want to make that as easy as possible, and this drop-off is pretty good, and that looks good. So, um, oh god, okay, so I'm catching on fire through here, it's probably because I threw the ender pearl and I was like halfway through the block, I don't think, I don't think I'll normally catch on fire, okay. That's a note to self. Remember not to shoot the ender pearl down there. You'll get caught on fire and stuck in the skull and all that. Um, but <laughs> I learned to keep a water bucket with me. Cool. So we still have our drop off. That's good. Um, that will come in handy. Uh, I also want to build, I want to get rid of this mine shaft and maybe move another one down here somewhere. Um, I'd love to maybe build a, a boat ride <laughs> or something, you know, that uh, went down into some, I don't know, some dark thing, or, I mean, it wouldn't make sense to really ride a boat down to the bottom of the mine shaft or anything like that, but I don't know, something fun like that. Let me know if you guys uh, like that idea or have any other input. That would be um, something fun to do. All right, we're under attack. I was just coming down here. Oh, there we go. Trying to uh, build some safety over here and uh, the mobs aren't cooperating. All right, little update. <laughs> We've got a baby zombie going crazy trying to figure out a way over to us. I think he just fell off the edge, and there's a creeper up there. Uh, that's not good, so we need to... Uh, how did he spawn? He must have spawned... Isn't that torch close enough? How could he spawn right there? That is interesting and that baby zombie i don't know where that guy <laughs> spawned either but we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to mob proof this area i think i can just break this i don't know why this whole ledge is here at all anyway good enough So I've got a little walkway around here, um, and this will lead up to this other platform. And eventually, I think I will get rid of most of this, and I'll just have a walkway, and then I'll have a platform over on that side, get rid of like some of this, make it look a little bit better, have these two sides go all the way down to the bottom. And I've covered up the lava. That's the lava underneath there uh, for the ceiling of the, the mouth of the skull. Um, so I'll probably have a level down there. That'll be the very bottom level above that. Um, and yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm just kind of like, 
I don't know, testing stuff. This thing doesn't really look good like right there. But uh, hmm, I don't know why I'm starting using a, a weird accent. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that doesn't look good. I'm just going to mess around with stuff until I figure out what looks good. But, um, but yeah, this is probably the big top level. I may uh, build a couple things up in the corners, maybe like, I don't know, a farm or something that, you know, isn't totally uh, necessary that, uh, that I don't have to have, you know, in the main area. Something like that. I don't know, but we will see. And it's snowing, of course, because it's getting close to Christmas and it's getting close to, I don't know, what other holidays are going on right now. Um, here, zombie, zombie, zombie. I'm having really bad depth perception here. I can't see. Okay, well now he's going to stand still. There we go, we got him. Oh, here he comes. Now about two weeks from now, he's finally going to find a way up to me. Ah, forget it. <laughs> All right, well, um, anyway, the place is starting to take shape finally. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Don't forget to check out my chicken jockey video from my, uh, my third world LP. And we will see you guys later.